So here we have the Mini Hatchback on a 69 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. From the outside you can see it's a three-door car with alloy wheels. We're going to start off inside the boot and then work our way around to the front of the car from there. As we approach the back of the car you can see we have reversing sensors and plenty of boot space available there as well. You can fold that tray down, you can also remove it uh, and you can fold down the 60-40 split folding rear seats should you wish to increase this space even further. Okay so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside of it from there. But now that we've done a full circle you can see it's in fantastic condition the whole way around. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run for on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter, we have the speedometer, and then the fuel gauge over on the right-hand side. Uh, within the speedometer, you can see the total miles for this car. They are 21,161. You can change the information that's displayed above that. You can, for example, have a digital readout for the speedometer displayed in that section, as you can see. If we back out to the steering wheel, we have cruise control, speed limiter, stereo, and phone controls as well. The main stereo itself is over in the center. Uh, it's touchscreen, so for example, to pair your phone, you'd go to manage mobile devices and then follow the instructions up on the screen from there. You can use the touch screen if you wish to, or you can do what I was just doing and use this dial and the collection of buttons that surround it. So for example, you can rotate the dial to any of these options, enter uh, that menu, and you can see there, for example, we have DAB, FM radio. You can stream your music wirelessly via Bluetooth audio, and we've got USB input down there as well. This car's also got satellite navigation, which is a really nice, clear uh, color display very very easy system to use we have dual zone climate control beneath that so you can adjust the passenger temperature driver temperature you can increase and decrease the fan speed you can determine what direction you'd like the air to be distributed in when you're happy with those settings you can turn your air conditioning off in this case or back on again or hit auto the car will now as you can hear take control of the fan speed and direction of the air to maintain those temperatures press auto again to go back to your own settings with a heated driver and passenger seat both of which have three settings each we have the start and stop button for the engine we can turn off our traction control we can turn off the stop and start and we can turn the parking sensors on and off we have our usb input a 12 volt charging socket and the gear lever for the fully automatic gearbox the last thing i wanted to mention are the twin sunroofs we have up here so you have manual some blinds that you can open and close uh, over both of these windows. That rear piece of glass is fixed in position. The front one, if you wish to, will open as a proper sliding sunroof. And as you can see, it opens over the top of that rear one. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car for yourself and have a test drive, please feel free to give us a call here at Mac One Cars. We'd love to hear from you soon.